Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1524. Hey, we're still talking about dynamic arrays, the amazing new feature in Office 365. And in this video, we have a sort of epic example of how to show all formulas for all columns. Now let's go look at the final result. This is what I want. I have all these crazy formulas. And I simply want to list all the formulas down here. But I do not want to have to create each one of these manually. So we're going to go over to the sheet 15.4. And before we do our final result here, we're going to create, and I'm going to pick the region formula. There's a big long one right there. And I want to create a single formula that will allow me to show the actual formula and which cell reference it is in. Well, we'll start off with formula text. That one's easy enough. Notice that's a single cell. When I Control Enter, I see the entire formula. Now I want to join to the beginning of this some formula element that will always tell me which cell that is. Now there's a few ways to do this. We could do it with the cell function. I'm going to use the address function. Address needs row, column number, and then what type of cell reference. I'm going to use the row function and point down here, comma, then the column function, pointing to that same cell, comma, and then we want a relative. So I put four, close parentheses. If I were to highlight just that part of it and hit F9, we can see it's got J22, Control Z. Now I'm going to join that in double quotes, colon, space, Join symbol, Shift 7, the ampersand. Control Enter, and that formula will work. Now I'm going to cut this. And remember, that's for a single cell. And paste it, Control V. Now I want to turn this into an array formula. Anytime you have a function argument with a single item, when you put multiple items in there, it instructs the function to deliver multiple items. Now I'm going to double click, and then very carefully, Highlight all the way to G. Now be careful if you go all the way. I have some rows hidden. It might put in the A column. All right, there it is, reference. That's a bunch of cells, so it will instruct row to deliver a bunch of answers. Now I'm going to copy that. Double click Control V. Double click Control V. Column will deliver multiple answers. Address will deliver multiple answers. If I highlight an F9, there's all the cell references. Formula text will deliver multiple answers, F9, Control Z. Together, when I hit Enter, it will spill. But it will spill to the right. And that's not what I want. F2, Transpose. That will take a horizontal range and make a vertical range. Now, I don't like that NA, so watch this. F2, I'm just going to use if NA. There's the value. It's an array of values. I come to the end, comma, double quote, double quote, because I don't want to show anything when it's an NA. And I had this column here, which is causing the NA. That's And I wanted that column there. Now, the beautiful thing about this in the new Excel engine is this doesn't have any of the new array functions. This is just all of our old functions. Well, at least transpose, address, row, column are old. Formula text and if and a came in in Excel 2013. But when I hit Enter, I get exactly what I want. Now, I've been building templates like this with formulas off to the side, not only for teaching so people can see, but when building a model, I want to leave an auditing trail that says how these formulas were created and where they are. So that is a beautiful trick to get from a table with lots of columns, all the formulas in a nice vertical column. All right, if you like that video, be sure to click that thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe, because there's always lots more videos to come from Excel is Fun, including one more dynamic array video. All right, we'll see you next video.